Welcome to this review and instructions of the motion detection talking alarm clock spy camera. Okay, now right here is what it comes with. Here is the alarm clock camera, manual, charger, and connector cable, remote control, and software. Let's take a look at the manual. Now this is a fully functional talking alarm clock, but what just appears to be an ordinary alarm clock is actually a spy camera. Now right here is the lens. I'm going to give you an up close look. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use it. Now right over here is a hidden panel. And the first thing you need to do is to install a micro SD card. Here is the micro SD card slot. So you insert the memory card in. You push it in and when you feel a click it means the memory card is properly installed. Okay. Then turn the camera on. Okay, when you turn the camera on the blue light will flash and remain steady. And now the camera is in standby mode. Now while the camera is in standby mode, to take a video, using the remote control, press the video recording button. Now as you just saw, the blue light flashed several times and went off, and the camera is now recording video. To stop recording video, press the video recording button again. The blue light will appear, remain steady, the file is saved as an AVI file, and the camera is now back in standby mode. Now to take a photo while the camera is in standby mode using the remote control press the photo button the camera just flashed once you just took a photo to take another photo press the photo button again and so on and so forth. Now to record video with motion detection press the video recording with motion detection button Now the camera will flash until motion is detected. So I'm going to test my hand by the camera. Now as you just saw, the camera flashed several times after it detected motion. It stopped flashing and went off. And the camera is now recording in motion detection mode. It will continue to recording for about three minutes without detecting any motion. If it does not detect any motion after three minutes, it will stop recording and go back into motion detection mode until it starts to detect motion again in which it will then start recording again. To stop video recording and motion detection press the motion detection button again. Video recording in motion detection has stopped. The file is saved as an AVI file and the camera is now back in standby mode. Now to record audio only press the audio recording button camera will continue to blink and it is now recording audio. To stop recording audio, press the audio recording button again. Audio recording has stopped. The file is saved as a WAV file and the camera is now back in standby mode. To power the camera off, press the power button. The camera will flash red and blue several times and power off. Okay, now to operate the clock. This clock is a talking clock, so when you press this button on top, it will say the time. Now to set the clock, press the set button. To set the hour, press hour. 
to set the minute, press minute. Oh, eight. Oh, nine. Now the camera will automatically save the time after a few seconds. And there you go. It's set to the desired time. Now to set the alarm. Press set a second time. Two. Three. Oh, five. Oh, six. To save the alarm, just let it sit. So now time is saved and the alarm is saved. To set the hourly chime, press the set button three times. Now press hour. Now the hourly chime is set to go off every hour from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. To change it, press set three times again. Now the chime is off. Now this symbol means that the hourly chime will go off every hour. Now to switch the camera to go from a 12 to 24 hour clock, just press hour and press it again to switch back. Okay, so listen to the sounds. Press the minutes button. Okay, now while the alarm is sounding, this button is also a snooze button. So while the alarm is sounding, press the snooze button. The alarm will go off over and over again for every 10 minutes for up to 6 times. Okay, now it also has a backlight feature to turn the backlight on. Press light. And to turn it off, press light again. Now to use the camera as a webcam, First install the software, open the camera application on the computer, then connect the camera to the computer. And before you connect it, make sure the camera's power button is off. And then after you connect the camera to the computer, switch the power button to on. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a demonstration with the camera, so please stay tuned. Okay, this is a test of the talking alarm clock motion detection spy camera. I'm currently doing a video test as well as an audio test to see and to hear how the footage turns out. Okay, now I'm currently walking towards the camera. I'm just about a few inches away talking into the camera. Okay, I'm currently walking away from the camera. I'm about nine feet away right now. Now, the quality of the footage can also be dependent on the lighting that you take the footage in. So it's best through trial and error to take footage with the camera in different lighting, and this may achieve the best desired results. Okay, so this completes the test of the talking alarm clock motion detection spy camera. Okay, so there you have it. This was a review and instructional tutorial of the talking alarm clock motion detection spy camera. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video and thank you for tuning in.